This video will show you a 3D arm simulation that will be featured in an upcoming issue of Servo Magazine. If you're interested in robotics, I highly recommend Servo. You can check them out at servomagazine.com. The simulation of the 3D arm you see on the screen is not just a demonstration. You can program this arm just like you would a real arm, which means that you can learn how to control an arm without the time or expense associated with building or buying an arm. This arm simulation is written in Robot Basic and comes with a sample program that gives the arm a small amount of intelligence. As soon as the arm finishes its initialization, let's uh, look at some examples. Notice there are three pieces of colored paper that the arm can move around. It has a vacuum end effector. Let's get rid of these instructions. We won't need them for now. Up at the top, we have some buttons. We have like pick up, yellow, or yellow on green. We can move to certain locations. For example, we can tell the arm to move to location one. And the arm will move around there to location one. If we tell it to pick up, let's say, the red block, we can change this yellow button. Every time we click it, it changes to a different color. So we'll change it to red and say, pick up red. And the arm will go over and find the red block. If we tell it to move to location two, and drop the block. It puts the block down. Now let's tell it we want to put the yellow block on the green block. The first thing it's going to do is check to see if the green block is clear. That is, there's there nothing on it. If there is, it'll move it to some temporary location. Then it's going to go find yellow block and deposit it on the green block. And it will do all this on its own. So yellow on green. Checking the green block to make sure it's clear. And if it is, puts it back down. Then it will go get the yellow block. Discarding any blocks that may be in its way. and placing it on the green block as requested. If I tell it to put the red block on the green block, again it will check to see if the green block is clear, discarding any blocks that it may have. Checking again to make sure that the green block is clear. Now there are many extra movements in this that are discussed in the Servo article. In fact, one of the points of the Servo article is to let you improve on this program. Let's put the yellow block on the red block. Again, making sure the red block is clear. Notice that the shapes of the pieces of paper have been chosen so that you can actually see the stacking of the paper. This arm is simple to learn how to program because it only has to work in a 
fixed space area. That is, the end effector is the same height as the base of the arm. It makes the mathematics for calculating the angles and so on much easier. All this is explained in the servo article. And if you have it do something strange, like let's say put the green block on the red block, they're all stacked in here. It will end up placing the green block on the red block, but not necessarily the way you might expect. And that's one of the points of the article. It shows how to get started and then ask you to move forward and change this program on your own. Trying to make it more intelligent than its simple intelligence is at the moment. As soon as the article comes out in Servo, which should be in the first half of 2009, but as soon as it comes out, you will be able to download the full source code for this arm, along with your free copy of Robot Basic from robotbasic.com. There you can learn all about Robot Basic, and it even has links to many, many other Robot Basic videos to help you get started. Now, notice that it did do what we wanted. It placed the green block on the red block. You may not have done it exactly the way you would have expected, but the arm had some amount of intelligence. Go download your free copy of Robot Basic and have fun experimenting with it. Many things you can do. I think you'll enjoy it.